guys. Welcome to Saturday. It's nice and bright and early. The Celtics are just literally just opened. We're already here. I'm just coming along to all that the cafe to take a picture. Because it's got the most beautiful wisteria in there. So I'm going to take a picture. So I thought if I come super early, hopefully no one else will be sat there. But we'll see and see. It's kind of nice. We're up and about 9.30 Saturday morning. Usually would be in bed. So this is good. Proactive start to a Saturday. Just look how beautiful it is in here. It's so pretty. So just waiting on our friend Kyle. He's coming to have a breakfast with us. So we've just been taking our shots. Last year we came in and they had all the cereal and we just took like one Instagram shot and I loved it. So I figured we'll come back and do a proper little shoot in here. So it'll be on the blog really soon and the Instagram. The Instagram is for Google Pixel. I'm working with those guys this year, which is super exciting. Their Pixel 2 is insane. I mean, it's obviously a lot different to kind of iPhone and everything. So it takes a little bit getting used to but the camera is amazing on that phone. So we always bring it with us. I've said this before, we bring it with us as like our, our phone we take shots on. Right, but the Instagram is for some events that I am hosting in Manchester and Birmingham. So exciting. So I think I can tell you about this now. On Friday 19th, I'm gonna be in Birmingham at 7 p.m. until 11. It's gonna be a super special event. I'm not, I can't say where yet, just for like security purposes. But pretty much, I can have loads of you guys and a plus one, so you can come with a friend, or a boyfriend, or a husband, or a wife for the night. It's gonna be canapes, cocktails, gonna get goodie bags, you're gonna get money off the new Google Pixel 2. Or you're gonna get a case. Honestly, it's gonna be such an insane night. I wanna get photos with everyone, I wanna chat with everyone, get to know you all. So it's Friday 19th in the evening in Birmingham, so it's like a proper like night out vibe. And then on Saturday, 20th of Jan, it'll be in Manchester. Again, at a super gorgeous like cocktail bar. 7 to 11, again, like meet and greet, chat. You'll get this goodie bag, you'll get canapes and cocktails and champagne and everything. And it's just a big like Google Pixel event hosted by me. So, so exciting. So yeah, I'll leave all the details down below. Ah! Now we're doing some shopping. Do we like this jacket? So I'm going to Iceland on Monday. And I need some more warm jackets. And this is adorable. This is so adorable. It's like 65 quid. It's super fluffy. I really, actually really like it. Kyle is also with us. I've, dra I've dragged him along. We've had like a three hour breakfast, haven't we? And now we're going it's shopping. Yeah, it's been great. Oh, shush. <laughs> yeah, we've had a massive catch up for like hours. So I thought I'd do a little bit of shopping while we're here before we head home. So, um, yeah, I need to, what do you think of this jacket? I just found this and I really like it. For like my trip. What do you think? I really like it. Okay, after a lot of shopping in sausages, bought a couple of things I have to show you very soon. But we've come to called Securian. Securian, just in Nottingham. Really nice like that mixing place, but it before. That's the morning. Okay, so we're back from our little selfage trip and I just thought I'd show you the few bits that I got. I did a little little selfages haul, kind of unintentionally actually, but I thought on this trip coming up I did want to get a few new things to show my Instagram and on blog posts and just kind of reboot my wardrobe for January. First thing that I got that I'm absolutely obsessed with, you might have seen this on my Insta stories, is this Baker Boy hat. I've never owned a hat like this and I honestly never ever thought that I would. I thought I would look a bit ridiculous. I mean you'll have to see for yourself what you actually think of me in this but I put it on and really really liked it. <laughs> I didn't think I could pull off a hat like this. I think it looks better when my hair's a bit bigger but what do you think? I think that's super cool and it was £14. I think it's just really really cool for any outfit but I really liked it with so I got this coat couldn't not. So I got this in the six. I was going to go for the eight because I like I quite like the oversized fit of it. But I just thought this was one of those gorgeous, super gorgeous coats that if I didn't buy it now, it would sell out and then I'd be a bit gutted. I mean, baby pink isn't usually my style. With having such white blonde hair, it's easy to get typecast. And I mean, I often see Barbie comments on my Instagram. Not necessarily in an insulting way. And I actually don't even see it as an insult whatsoever. So honestly, it doesn't bother me if anyone ever does call me Barbie. But at the same time, I like pink. So I'm just trying to think of how I'm going to style this. Maybe with a cute little jump, even a jumper like this underneath it. And then some, maybe even jeans or dark jeans to match the hat. So we'll see. So those are the two things that I bought first of all. This jacket was £65. The next thing that you saw that I picked up in the store. So this is a jumper. 
I mean, it's very woolly knitted and I think it must be a bit mohair because it's very fluffy and it's got lots of fluffy bits. This with leather trousers and black boots. Again, it could be overnight, it could just be black boots. Could look awesome or red boots. This with like a black skirt or a denim skirt with black or red overknee boots could look kind of quite powerful, quite cool. And again, even with this hat, you know, this kind of vibe that, that didn't give you an idea at all. But I just thought I'll get it for now, see if I can style it up for Iceland. If not, I can always take it back and return it if it's not quite right for me. But I thought that was just a really lovely piece, really. It's not too thick, but you could layer it. And the last piece I didn't manage to show on camera actually is an incredible jacket and I think you guys are going to absolutely love this. This was £200 but honestly I feel like it looks, I, when I went to look at the tag I thought this would maybe be £800 plus but this is all like a faux, obviously a faux um, shearling. Look at this, I don't know if you can see on camera just how gorgeously blue, it's almost like a deep indigo navy blue, lovely mix. And it's just got this shearling section all the way down the sleeves and I love the way it's kind of taped here. So it tapers in here and then the same here. So it just kind of mixes up. Shearling all across the back shoulder panel. I hope you can see that the way it's catching the light. I get the feeling that this is going to be like the big piece of the season from this brand as well because I just think people are going to go crazy for this. I've not seen like a shearling style jacket like this with all these panels of shearling mixed over cheap skin and at this price range as well like i think this is gonna fly off it's 200 pound like i said i honestly thought it was gonna be a good 800 pound 850 when i went to see the label so i was like trying this but i thought it could look really cool again for my trip and again perfect with the blue hat that works quite nicely so that's my little mini haul from today i mean i didn't expect to buy anything so i'm quite pleased i had to get actually some bits alex has gone for a little nap I think what I might do now is, well first of all I'm going to review the photos that we took earlier in the cafe. I might also start packing as well for Iceland just so I've got an idea of what outfits I've got and what I want to put together on what days. Yeah, and then later, I mean I did want to go to the gym, Alex isn't really feeling it so I might just do a little at home ab workout I think, just in the front room. Yeah, it's the order of the day. Oh, oh my legs, ow, ow, ow my legs. Oh, so sore. I think I'm gonna go take off my makeup because all of this area is so dry, it's so sore. So I'm gonna go take off my makeup, I think, and chill a bit. And I do wanna do an ab routine. That's one thing I definitely want to do, she says, after eating a packet of pop chips. And half of this chocolate, this vegan chocolate bar. I'm so bad. I'm gonna go do that now. So I took off my makeup, feeling much, much better. Although it's still super tight, but just, I'm just moisturising to the nines. I am going to have a bath now. I've had a really productive few hours. It's about 10 o'clock now, Saturday night. But a really productive few hours of going through old videos. Going to come up with ideas for new videos to film 2018. Just to kind of get back on track with ideas and the way I want to take the channel and everything else. Okay, I'm going to use this. I've just found this. Sea salt bath melt from Miss Patisserie, I think. Look how adorable this is. It's vegan as well. It's a natural little cupcake. You meant to take off the flowers and take off the casing and then just throw it into the bath. And it's got like shea butter in it and coconut oils and really nice things, I think. So, I'm excited. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> that was majorly underwhelming. Maybe this one's crumbling instead. Oh god knows. I'm just gonna leave it there. And hopefully 